guys, welcome back to yet another bullet journaling video. My name is Melody, thank you so much for being here. Let's jump into July 2022 bullet journal, shall we? Uh, if you can't already tell, this month's theme is going to be Sailor Moon. I am so excited for this theme. I have recently gotten in to Sailor Moon very recently. I know, where have I been my whole life? Um, I'm not sure, but point is I'm here now and I am just so excited to be, you know, finally into the whole world of Sailor Moon. I think it is so fun, so happy, so amazing. And I could think of no better theme to do this month than a Sailor Moon theme. So let's jump right into it. So we're starting off pretty hot and heavy <laughs> and I have a full page illustration of Usagi aka Sailor Moon on the left side of the page. Now I am going to say I do a lot of drawing in this month's bullet journal. It is not for the faint of heart <laughs> but I will say you do not have to draw what I draw. You can easily very very easily print out the same images i have or similar images and just color them in and paste them into your bullet journal you do not have to do what i did you do not have to spend a lot of time sketching out the characters into your bullet journal and then coloring them in i just wanted to do that because i feel like i've been lazy in my past few bullet journals and i haven't done a lot of drawing and I really wanted to get back into that because I enjoy drawing. But if you don't, you certainly do not have to draw all these images. If you're not comfortable with that, go ahead and print something out. No one will judge you, I promise. There on the right side of the page, as always, I have the monthly calendar where I keep track of the days I read, listen, or do both. If you didn't know, this bullet journal is strictly for keeping track of my reading habits and my reading goals throughout the month. And by the way, I am aware that there is a 31st day in July, but I could not be bothered to put a little lonely box below my neat five rows, so I'm just gonna pretend like the 31st doesn't exist. <laughs> For just in this situation alone, so yeah. Don't forget the 31st day, guys, if you're doing this. Don't forget that the 31st is in the sixth week. All right, moving on, I am now going in and coloring Sailor Moon at last after all that work, sketching and drawing it out. Those hands, by the way, I hate drawing hands and her hands were no exception to that. I labored over those hands and they still don't look great <laughs> so again if you want to print i will not judge you um yeah but i'm coloring it in and i'm doing a much more bright and cool toned theme with my colors this month than i usually do um they're very pastel or they're very bright and there's not a lot of warm tones this month which felt very different for me and i almost didn't like it but it really does fit in with Sailor Moon and the Sailor Moon aesthetic, but I'm not gonna lie to you, that hot pink was throwing me off for a while, <laughs> but I promise it all comes together. Especially after adding, ta-da, washi tape. I swear to you, washi tape has transformative powers. If you don't have washi tape, go out and get some. I can't live without it, or I guess I can't journal without it. I'm being dramatic. I just love washi tape. <laughs> okay, now we are on to the next spread, which is my books read spread. That's always a mouthful to say, but for this page, I really wanted to bring in the feminine aspects of Sailor Moon. I tried to get a really cool close-up shot here and it didn't focus the greatest, but I wanted to show you that I'm doing a Sailor Moon inspired font for the titles. And as you can see, I am doing floral borders. I am choosing to hand draw the borders on this page because I think it really makes a difference and it really looks beautiful at the end. 
I really wanted to do these rosy borders because when I think about Sailor Moon and their transition sequences in the show, I just think of flowers and sparkles and, you know, girly fun, you know? So I really wanted to bring in that floral aspect to this page and I did just that. This may have been time consuming, but it is so worth it in the end and it's not really hard to draw roses the way I'm doing here and the hardest part is just trying to make everything look kind of even, you know, and well spaced out. I warned you guys that this is a long process drawing all these flowery borders, but even looking at it now, I really do think it is worth it. Um, and while I'm drawing, I just wanted to say a little bit more about my experience here with Sailor Moon. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am very recently acquainted with Sailor Moon. Of course, I had seen it around my whole life, but I never once got into it, which is just odd because I liked 90s TV shows and, you know, in theory, I would have loved Sailor Moon, but I just don't think we had the channel that had the TV show when I was a kid. I just don't think we had that channel. So anyway, I didn't grow up with it. And so as a grown ass adult, <laughs> I picked up the manga last month and I wasn't expecting much. Honestly, I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. I really fell in love with it. It is just so fun. I don't know what it is. Something about it just brings me so much joy. So after reading the manga, I immediately got into the TV show, both the one from the 90s and the newer one. I've watched them both. I enjoy them both. And yeah. That is how my obsession was born, as a 25 year old loving Sailor Moon. <laughs> Here you can see I'm messing with some washi tape, but you will see that um, it's a trial and error process with washi tape. I change my mind quite a bit, so I don't like to film it as much because it usually takes me a while and as you can see, I totally change my mind, so I just try not to film that part if I don't have to. And here I was wondering about the blank space and I felt like it needed some more color to the page, some more purple specifically. So I put these color blocks in there. And honestly, I think it looks good with or without the color blocks. So that's just a personal preference thing. But either way, I think that page turned out beautiful. Up next is a spread that I'm really excited for because this is my Luna spread. Of course, I couldn't do a Sailor Moon themed bullet journal without including Luna at least a couple of times. So that is what I'm doing, of course. You can see I have my manga book actually open up to a page and I'm drawing images straight from the manga volume one, which I think is just really sweet. And you can do the same sort of thing. Pick a scene that you like and draw from that scene. So these are just little snippets of Luna that I pulled straight from the pages, which I just, again, I love that. And I really just love Luna in general. I love how she is kind of the boss. You know, she's in charge of the Sailor Guardians and she's a cat, so what's not to love? Gosh, isn't Luna the cutest? Here on the left, I am making my TBR list and my hauled list. Not every month I want to include a TBR because honestly, I take my TBR list as more of a suggestion than anything. But this month I wanted to include one, but not every month I do. And here on the right is my goal tracker page. And this is the perfect page 
to include Luna on because like I said before, she is a boss. And if anybody is going to keep me on track with my goals, it's going to be Luna. Oh, and by the way, these boxes with their diagonal kind of cutoffs, they serve kind of a dual purpose. Of course, you know, they are sectioning off my different lists, but I also thought that these were very reminiscent of the manga because, you know, if you've ever read a manga, it's very much like a comic book where the scenes are all in different boxes and that kind of thing. So I really wanted to tie in that manga element into my bullet journal because of course Sailor Moon was first and foremost a very successful manga series. So I just love how I was able to bring the spirit of the manga into my spreads this month. Here I am getting use yet again from my Fomimo printer and I'm just printing out the months again for my goal tracker page. This is just easier than handwriting out the months four different times. So yeah, I do use that little printer quite a bit. And now I'm just going in and coloring in my different boxes. All the while staying very true to my color scheme that I set up at the very beginning. You can really see here in these clips how much I fiddle with the washi tape. It is what it is, you know, it's a lot of trial and error, a lot of sticking and unsticking, and just trying to find which washi tape will best complement each page. Now we are on to the fourth and final spread, and as you can see, I am referencing the manga yet again from this specific page because there is a very sweet image of Usagi and Luna that I really wanted to include on this final spread. I was going to include a picture of Rey, Sailor Mars, because she is one of my favorite characters so far, but once I saw this image, I knew I was done for. I had to include it because it is just so sweet. So here I am, I've sketched it out, and now I'm going over with my fine liners. Like I just said, I was planning on doing an image of Sailor Mars. She is one of my favorites. Uh, it might be because, you know, Mars is the planet of Aries and I'm an Aries, you know. Might be that, but also I just really love her fire powers and how she's just a badass. But I wanted to say, the injustice that the 90s show has done to Sailor Mars so far is crazy. She's such a meanie to Usagi and they do not get along in that show at all. I wonder if that's going to change the more I watch, but I was watching it the other day and I was like, wow, <laughs> Rey is being kind of a bitch, you know? I was like, but she's not like this in the manga. It is so weird. Anyway, I'm on a rant now. As you can see, on the right side of the page is going to be my monthly favorite where I will be posting a little picture of my favorite book from the month of July on this page. I like to do this every month and I'm just bringing back in the flower motif, the Sailor Moon font, and now I'm back to coloring in my little picture of Usagi and Luna. I just love how this image turned out.
And if you thought this spread would be complete without washi tape, well, you were wrong. <laughs> Once I start, I simply cannot stop when it comes to washi tape. But other than that, this spread is pretty much done. There are a few little things that I do end up adding off camera and you will see that very soon. You know what time it is. It is time for the final flip through. I absolutely love my final flip throughs. You can see how much I've added. I've added a ton to this first page. As you can see, I added little blue hearts and little pink stars behind Usagi because I felt like it was just too blank without it. And I like that detail because it looks almost like a wallpaper behind her. And I've also added the little stars dripping down behind the title July. Overall, I think those additions really brought that first spread together. And now here is my second spread. Of course, she is beautiful. She is everything. And I didn't add much to this page after what you already saw but the detail shots really show you just how beautiful all the details are on this page and how worth it it was drawing all those flowers. And now on to the third spread, the Luna spread. Again, I haven't added much to this page that you haven't already seen, but it is nice getting these up close looks at little Luna and all of her cuteness. And now on to the fourth and final spread. I absolutely love how this page turned out. I think the washi tape looks fabulous on this page. Again, really tying everything together. And as you can see, I've added a little speech bubble to my picture of Usagi and Luna. It says idea dump because that is the purpose of that page just to be a page where I can scribble down my random thoughts throughout the month. And there is the right side, my monthly favorite, all ready to go. Overall, I just love how that page turned out. With that being said, that completes July's bullet journal. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you got some good ideas and I hope you love Sailor Moon as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.